Close your eyes, Josh. Take a deep breath and relax. With each breath, let the life around you fade into the background. Even though I think it's often written off as just a silly haunted house movie, I think that James Wan's Insidious really innovated how horror films were made for the next decade by bringing them back to their roots. What James Wan does with Insidious is really return to kind of the 50s and 60s version of horror movies. It's just about building tension and about the fun release. You can really feel the passion in Insidious. While it is obviously a low-budget film, everyone involved is kind of pitching in in fun ways. For instance, composer Joseph Bashara is also the lipstick-faced demon. Screenwriter Lee Winnell is Specs, a character in the film. There are multiple people kind of crossing over like this. The heart and soul of Insidious is character actress Lynn Shea uh, as Elise Rayner, this psychic that is not quite what you expect. She tends to play things very happily, very pleasantly. So when things turn scary, the rug is just pulled right out from under you. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't sure the doorbell was working. I'm oh, that, sorry. That's fine. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Rainier? No, Mrs. Rainier is my mother. Just call me Elise. Uh -huh. Insidious is also a wonderful coming home for Scream Queen Barbara Hershey. Here you see her deliver this just heartbreaking restrained performance as the grandmother of this sick child and also the mother of somebody who may or may not have gone through the same thing before. It was standing there in the corner. I asked it, who are you? And it said, it was a visitor. Something else I think that James Wan and Lee Winnell really understand is that the sillier side of horror is fine. A horror fan will suspend their disbelief endlessly. So you can have something that's a little sillier, a little more theatrical, as long as it's scary. This film is full of stuff that would have been thought too goofy and too over the top, but I think the $100 million box office and franchise prove that he was correct. Yeah, but I yeah, need to see it. That's fine, gentlemen. I don't think bad wiring is the problem. <laughs>